All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to yet another video. We're in Florida, as you can tell. We are not in New Jersey. This is probably gonna look like a continuation of the Florida series for you guys tuning in because I haven't stopped uploading Florida videos, but that series ended around the second week of January. It is spring break now, the second week of March, and we just got back down here. I drove down yet all day yesterday from New Jersey. I left around 8 a.m. and I didn't get here till two o'clock in the morning. We're getting an early start, only had a couple hours of sleep last night. We're actually gonna be fishing with Rich from Fishaholic today. He was supposed to meet me there at six. He overslept, I kind of overslept at 6.45 now, but we're not gonna waste any time. I've got a Uzuri topwater tied on right here, as you can see. We're gonna get down there. There's some water right behind, but we're gonna wait. We're just gonna kind of wait around for a couple hours. It's super windy. There's not too much we can do about that, but we're gonna get out there. We're gonna send it, so stay tuned. We'll chat with Rich when he gets here in a couple minutes, but for right now, we're gonna get down there to the water right behind me. Start making some casts, hopefully catch some fish. Today's bucket list is snook, jack, um, pretty much any of the Florida inshore, in inshore species. So let's not waste any more time. Let's throw the GoPro on. Let's get down there. Let's start catching some fish. What's up, bud? Sorry. You're fine. <gasps> There's a fish right there, dude. Just got down here a couple seconds ago. Water is Filthy man, absolutely gross. Warm though. Just a little fish jumping in here. Look like mullet though. Guys, major chaos going on right here. Major stuff going on right here. Just watch a big mole just get smoked by something. Try to sneak up on him. Oh, it just got smoked right there, dude. Dude, no way. Oh my God, how did I miss that fish, dude? What? Missed him again, bro. Dude, what the hell? I don't know why I can't hook him. I just got hit three times. Come on, man. Oh, dude. We're on, we're on, we're on. Oh my God, we're on. Let's go. Snook, snook. We're on, baby, we're on. Snook. Oh no, not to the oyster bed. Oh no, oh God. Oh God, off the oysters, off the oysters. Off the oysters, bro. Off the oysters. Come on, come here. He's right on the oyster bed, dude. Worst place for him to be. Oh, just spooked another snook. Just spooked another snook, dude. They were stacked in here. Come on, bud. Stay hook, stay hook. Come in. Oh, he's charging, dude. Charging. Oh, 
come on, come on. Come here, little guy. Ah! There we go, that makes it easier. Yeah, buddy. That's how you start the morning, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you start the morning. Let's go. Oh. Gotta love it, dude. Top water snook to start the day off. Oh my God, barely hooked him too, dude. So guys, I'm obviously no pro here, but the snook broke off the hooks, off the O-ring. So this must have been a rusted out hook or something. And that hook just broke off in his face. So not a bad way to start the day right there. Nice little snook. It's actually my first ever snook I've caught on video. Awesome, so let's send him back. All right, bud. First snook, what a great way to start the day. Into the muddy depths he goes. Let him charge up, chop my finger a little bit. Yeah, buddy. And off he goes, dude. Excellent. That's the way to start the day. I missed three strikes in a row right in this little oyster pool. This is honestly the best spot I've ever seen at this little spot right here. And they're crashing again right behind me. So we're gonna get back out there. We've got a little oyster bed right here. Multiple, multiple kind of oyster beds making a shallow water. We got a deep pool back here. Perfect spot to trap bait. And we've got a little creek running right back into here. So let's get back out there, guys. Awesome. First ever snook on camera. Can't ask for a better way. And there's Rich. Rich is coming down right now. I see him over there. So yeah, let's get back to making some casts. Been fishing maybe 20 minutes. Action's doing pretty good so far. You. So guys, this is completely shot now, if you can tell. I mean, it just broke off multiple hooks, bent out an O-ring. These hooks suck. I guess they're the stock hooks. I really don't ever use these lures except for rare in the summertime in New Jersey when fishing for stripers. So I really got to get on my tackle game as a whole, but let's get some more baits out there and see what we can throw. I'm thinking we stay with the popper theme and throw on this little guy. I've never caught a fish on it, but now is not a bad time to try. We really want to push a lot of water here in the wind, make a presence. We got muddy water, windy conditions. It really, really makes it hard to get that, that presentation you need to grab the attention of these fish. So this popper should push enough water to do it. So let's tie this on and start making some casts with it. Oh yeah, that works. That looks beautiful, dude. I think I may have scared away all the fish though in this area, so it may be a little harder this time to get a bite, but we'll, we'll make a couple casts here, then we'll link up with Rich. Check this thing out, dude. Some of the waterfall back there, probably from the road. Gnarly, man. What's up, dude? I might. Looks a little too deep to go out there. I mean, I can, where is it? I can get it probably for you. Um, four pilings down. Five, actually, from here. I got my keys in my bag. That's the only reason I don't want to go out there. Thanks. I just don't want to get my mm -hmm. bag soaked either. Let me just take my rod. And, yeah. Popper rescue mission. <laughs> Did I get you a little? No. Oh. <laughs> I was watching the whole time. <laughs> Thank you, man. Would you have been able to live with yourself if I caught like a 40 inch snook right there? <laughs> no, I would have just left. <laughs> you can keep the rod and the popper. I'm out of here. So guys, while we're walking over the next spot, I just want to go over our setup right now. We're using a 2500 die with BG. This is on a 7.6 Mojo Insure rated fairly light it's only rated an eighth of an ounce to a half an ounce we're working with 20 pound power pro right here fairly loose drag and then we've got a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader and then the voodoo shrimp i just showed you 
is our lower choice of the moment so we're gonna walk out to these sticks right here trying to make a couple casts um you can't really blind cast too much with this little shrimp but the wind's picking up we probably don't have too much longer to fish we're gonna work these next couple docks then maybe head back and kind of give it a restart and see what we can do back there but let's make a couple casts up here at these sticks see if someone wants to come out and play Rich just hooked up to a giant over there, dude. Oh my god, he's got a monster. Yeah, buddy. That's beautiful, dude. Hot fish. Sweet, dude. Off. Nice job. Thanks, bro. Dude, I thought it was like a 40 from back there. I saw a jump. I was like, oh my god, yeah, I gotta I run over there. Too. You know what's crazy <laughs> is, uh, like, you know, I forgot my pliers and my snips, right? So I just casted it with the tag on it. Oh, there you go. Ate it. It's <laughs> awesome. But, um, can I borrow your pliers? I need yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we didn't last too long with the voodoo shrimp. Just show you, Rich just landed a uh, decent sized, smaller snook right over here at this dock. So, he gave me a couple of his fishaholic finback shafts. This is the four inch model right here. We've got a white body with a chartreuse tail, so it should help stand out in this murky water we got. And with the heavier winds, we got a heavy jig head on. Be able to cast a little bit farther and be able to be in constant contact with the lure so we're gonna fish these next couple docks down here we've got a i don't know maybe half dozen or so to fish and then we're gonna reconfigure maybe restart over there the couple other dock fishing should be better with this fish holic finback shad here so let's start, start making a couple casts hopefully catch a couple more stuff stay tuned Wow. So Rich just had a 35 inch redfish down there, wake him right by his feet. So I'm gonna try to fish these points right here. Still looking for the snook and then we're gonna go, go back into the shallows and see if we can find some reds. That'd be awesome. I don't think I've ever caught a redfish, dude. Definitely an exciting day with the snook to start off, but really not too much happening since then. We'll see what we can do. You never know, all it takes is one cast. There's a jack right there, you see that? So guys, mid-morning update. Just got done fishing all the way to the northern extremities of this, this stretch of beach right here. I had that one snook pretty much right when I got started, right at daybreak. And then Rich got lucky and he caught two. Um, one he had pretty much as soon as he got out there in the water on his second cast with tying on the finback shad. And then he had one a couple minutes ago right here in the shallow water, so. We're gonna make our way all the way to the southern part of these docks where they kind of begin. What we found out recently is that the fish seem to be right up here, right in the shallows. Don't know if that has anything to do with the wind today or what's really going on, but we fish the points of pretty much all these docks out here with not much to show for it. So we'll start fishing shallow here, see what we can do. Stay tuned, folks. Well, that's not what we were hoping for. It's uh, pretty gross. Don't know what the freak this is. Maybe a sea cucumber? That is nasty. Yuck. Oh, damn, I just lost one right there, dude. Oh, for one. 
Oh, right there, bro. Wrong again. Oh, shoot, dude. No way. This guy's fired up, dude. Fired up. <laughs> Wingus just blew this guy's boat cushion off. Since I'm fishing next to his dock, see if I can catch it for good luck. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Definitely on it. Got it. There we go. Saving the day. One boat cushion at a time. And the environment. There's a mega storm coming in. We're on, baby. Blew off his boat. Come back here, bruh. Getting that good karma here. Maybe if I can get it up. Thing is friggin' heavy, dude. Ugh. There we go. That should be good enough. <laughs> All right, so we had two snook bites here and a boat cushion. Hopefully we can get a couple more snook, maybe. All right, well, moving on to the next dock. See what happens here. No, oh my God, are you kidding me? Yeah, they're gonna, they're chomping now before the storm, for sure. I'm gonna get them now, maybe. Got him. <laughs> Rat, dude. Yeah, well, better than nothing. That's for sure. There we go, guys. Personal best. <laughs> Personal best snook right there. Oh, look at that black, dude. Is that a different species or subspecies? No, probably not. It's just just the coloration. That's just crazy coloring, but. Had two bites over there at the other dock. Had this guy bite three times before I stuck that monster stub. All right, send him back, dude. There he goes. It don't look too good, but the fish are chomping. Here's the storm. A bit windy. Keep on fishing. Make your way back to the car. Alright guys, so back where we started off the day climbing up some some crazy natural cliffs here. Pretty crazy day, started off sunrise, catching my first ever snook on top water, had a bunch of strikes, really kind of woke me up after driving a uh, thousand miles yesterday, getting two hours of sleep and kind of just waking up and jumping right into it. And then ended off the day fishing through a crazy thunderstorm that really kind of snuck up on us. It was in the distance, then all of a sudden it was just pouring rain. The temperature went from it was, 85. It was like raining sideways. <laughs> it was raining pretty much at like a 45 degree angle. And yeah, that was definitely an intense day. Called my first and second ever snook. Um, pretty cool to scratch that off. Shout out to Rich from Fishaholic Fishing over here. He has a pretty small YouTube channel. You guys should check him out. <laughs> subscribers i'm hoping i'll get to uh, 10 subscribers eventually yeah. you might do a uh, 15 subscriber giveaway so everyone stay tuned for that make sure you you like his videos so oh, this baby puffer fish <laughs> look at that he's still alive stuck right. on the beach live line that let's see if he swims <laughs> away uh, he's not swimming he's, no. up. he's still alive he's just Rain and puffer fish out here, guys. You never know what to expect. Great, great first day here in Florida. We're gonna be here for probably 10 more days fishing pretty much the southern 50% of the state. 
and uh yeah can't ask for a better better way to start off the trip so stay tuned for the rest of the series guys back down here yet again got to drive down to the keys tonight probably another three four hours of driving then we'll settle in for a couple days travel around and we'll see what happens so thanks for tuning in guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you guys could like the video and subscribe to the channel i've been saying in the past couple videos now really just trying to grow the channel we've been seeing some some pretty some pretty good growth in the past couple months so good to see that and uh yeah see you in the next one guys you